Hi loves, welcome back. So today's video is a review on some Tarte brushes that I recently purchased. Purchased. Holy crap, can I talk? Obviously not. But I think they're really cool. It comes with five brushes and they look like this. So if you're excited to see how well these brushes work out, then just keep on watching. This brush set comes with five brushes, which I think that is awesome. I have never tried out Tarte brushes before this, so this is new to me. So I thought it would just be fun to try out um, this brush set, especially because this is a limited edition. I think it's for the holidays, and this retails for $44. So it's a pretty affordable brush set since you get five Tarte brushes. Like, look at how cute this is. <gasps> It's so cute. Even comes with like this little holder, which I think this is like so cute. Like I'm totally going to keep the holder. These are vegan and cruelty free, so that is awesome. They are full size, so they're not mini. They're obviously full size. So far, just from this, this is the highlighting brush, and the bristles are very soft. Like these are so just nice to touch, honestly. And honestly, the handles are kind of heavy. Like... Picking this up, it's not like overly heavy where it's like you don't want to apply your makeup with it because it's so heavy, but it's a nice quality brush. Like these are, have a weight to them, but they're not too heavy and I just feel like they're nicely made. This is what the eyeshadow brush looks like. It's very, um, I don't know, it's not that flimsy. It's more of like a lid brush, I guess, and it feels really nice, really soft. But it's not that, I feel like it's not going to blend nicely. I feel like it's more for just like packing on the lid, which that's okay. This is supposedly the blush brush. So it's like a little domed. It goes from a little skinnier to a little fatter. I don't know if I would use this for blush though. I feel like I kind of want to try it out for bronzer. Because you guys know I like, like bronzing my skin with brushes like this. This is the contour brush. So this is like really big to contour. I don't know if I could really contour my face with this. Like this is huge. Do you see how big that is? So I might use this just for like powder all over my face. But this is really nice. The bristles are a little more spread out. But... It feels really nice also. This is the highlighting brush. This is obviously for like your cheekbones, your nose, wherever you want to apply highlighter. This is like a nice, cute, domed um, brush that comes to a little bit of a curved top. So I feel like it's going to be really nice to apply highlighter. And it's a little more dense, so I feel like it's definitely going to pick up a ton of product. And then the last brush is the foundation brush. This one is a little shorter than all of the other handles. It's a little dense. It kind of reminds me of the Morphe M439. See how it's like really dense? This one is just a little smaller, but it has that same shape and that same density. So... I'm very excited to try these out, so let's get into this. And all of the products that I use will be down below per usual. First, we're going to go in with the foundation brush, and I'm going to use the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation with this brush. I know I said I don't like this with a brush, but we're going to try it out again. Okay, so this is the foundation with the foundation brush. I did go over my face just with a sponge just because it did leave a little bit of streaks just like on my cheeks right here. But everywhere else, it didn't really leave any streaks with this brush. So that's what I really like about it, honestly. And it was really easy to blend out all of the foundation with. So, so far, I love this brush. So now I'm just going to take the powder brush. This is like so big. There's no way I could counter with this, so I'm just going to use it for powder. So I'm just dusting off the excess powder from the baking. This is so nice. You can tell, like, this is a really nice quality brush. I really like this brush, too. It's so, like, easy to use, honestly. Like, it's just really soft. So it, I feel like it's not tugging at my skin at all, and it just feels like really silky. I don't know if that's the right word, but that's what it feels like. I'm going to use the blush brush. I think I'm going to use this to 
um, bronze and add blush whatever <laughs> so for my bronzer I'm going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in medium deep bronzed I'm just gonna pat this in there it's pretty coated holy crap At first, I was a little scared to use this, but um, if you want to use this brush for bronzer, then I highly recommend going in with a very light hand because I first like coated the whole brush in bronzer and applied it to my skin, and it just came out like really intense, and I had to blend it out, which was fine. It looks really blended now, but I'm just warning you, go in with a light hand because this does pick up a lot of product really fast, but... I really like how the bronzer looks. It kind of just looks more on the natural side, which that's what I really like. I feel like it definitely blends it really nicely. Like, I don't see any really harsh lines at all. So, I'm totally liking this so far. So, I'm going to use this for blush too. And I did pick up a new blush palette 10 blushes. This is also, I believe, like $44. And I got this off a of chart. This is their Blush Bazaar blush palette so many colors i don't think i'm ever gonna run out of blush ever in my life <laughs> but i really like how there's different like colors and just you can use it pretty much for any single look and i feel like it's really travel friendly because it's really it seems really sturdy so i'm excited to try this out i think i'm gonna go in with this shade right here angelic i'm gonna go in with a light hand with this too because i don't know how pigmented these are So I really like this one as well, and this is known as the blush brush. Okay, so now I'm going to use the highlighting brush to apply highlight. I'm going in with the Ofra highlighter in Blissful, and I'm just going to... I knew it would pick up a ton! can tell. I feel like this is too stiff. Doesn't that kind of look like a, just like a streak? on my face. Like, doesn't that look a little strange? Or is that just me? I feel like it doesn't look as flawless when I use, compared to when I use my Anastasia. I don't know. So I don't know. I feel like my face just doesn't look as like seamless as it usually does. I don't know if that's just me. It might be the Too Faced foundation because I'm still testing it out. But I'm not really sure, like, hmm, hmm, hmm. The last brush to use is the eyeshadow brush. So I'm going to go in with my Modern Renaissance eyeshadow palette. I think I'm going to go in with a Rossiana right here. Holy crap, this picks up a ton of product. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to see how well this works with applying eyeshadows in my crease. Okay, so I'm definitely not the biggest fan of using this brush for blending. It's definitely not meant for that, but I'm going to go in with the shimmer and just try and apply it all over my lid. So I'm going to go in with Primavera. This is just like a gold shimmer. It definitely, I feel like, is meant for shimmers and like applying on top of your lid because it picks up a ton of product. Okay, so I definitely like it for applying shimmers a lot better. I feel like that's what it's mainly made for. This is the completed look. Um, honestly, my opinion on these five brushes is, is it worth the $44? And 
This is a tough one because I really do think the brushes are a nice quality. I think the packaging is stunning. I'm not the biggest fan of the highlighting brush. I'm not the biggest fan of the eyeshadow brush. And I only semi like these. Maybe I'm just used to my other brushes in my collection, but I just feel like maybe there's cheaper brushes out in the world that can do the same exact thing as these and make your makeup look just as good. You know what I mean? Like I feel like these brushes didn't make my makeup look any better than it usually does. Um, if it does look a little different, let me know down below. But personally, I just feel like my makeup looks the same. Um, it was cool to test these out. Tarte brushes are honestly really nice. It's probably just like a hit or miss with which brushes you prefer more than others. Uh, overall, I think this set is a really cool gift for someone that's really into brushes or just really into trying to get into makeup. I think these are a perfect idea for that, but would I go out and buy them again? No, probably not. But I'm definitely probably going to keep them just because they're so cute and they work good. It's just I have some brushes in my collection that I prefer over these. But I think this was a fun video. It was definitely fun testing out new brushes. Um, I haven't gotten new brushes in God knows how long. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave to join the S-Squad. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.